Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Cleveland Golf today in Mission Viejo, California. I've got Zach Oakley with me. Zach, how's it going? Good, how are you? Awesome, beautiful day out here, testing some new product, which is always fun. We're gonna talk right now about RTX 4 wedges, brand new from Cleveland. Zach's been helping me out out here, doing some testing, getting into the right wedges for me. Had a lot of fun. These are really impressive. Yeah, no, I mean, you were hitting them really well. Um, you know, we, we talked a little bit about kind of you having a, a shallower angle of attack. Um, so if we were start with the 60 degrees, um, you know, you would really like the X-Low. Uh, I think because that is, you know, you're kind of more of a picker. So you're picking the ball a little bit. You're not really leaving a, a big divot. Um, and that's something if, you know, you're trying to figure out what kind of wedge you should play. Um, you know, this is, you know, a shallower divot is, is either the X-Low or the Low. Um, what did you think about that? Yeah, it was great. You know, I, I play the RTX three wedges now and in my 60 degree wedge play the one dot, which is a lower bounce 60 degree mm -hmm. model. But out here getting to hit the X low, I really enjoyed it. Like you said, I can make full swings with my sort of shallow angle of attack. Had no problem hitting full shots with it, but where it was really awesome was hitting little pit shots where I could lay the face wide open. We've got some, kind of some firm sandy turf here, had no issues with the club digging, was able to control trajectory, control spin, and I think it's going to be an exciting option for a lot of players who are similar to me in terms of the way they deliver the golf club. Yeah, especially, you know, you, you talked about opening the face a little bit. Uh, can you walk me through that a little bit more, what your thoughts are on, you know, at address, you could really rip that thing almost pointing straight up and and the, the leading edge stays so close to the ground you're not really too afraid of, of sculling it well that's the big thing a lot of times with wedges you know even wedges that maybe don't have a ton of bounce as you open the face the leading edge sort of comes up off the ground and you feel like you're just going to hit what we joke as the forehead shot you're going <laughs> to hit it right in the middle of the ball and scull it over the green and you know the more i open the face of the X low, the leading edge just sat on the ground and it gave me that confidence that I could hit the type of shot I wanted to. If I was short sided out of a tight lie, I could play that shot. What was also neat, and Brian Schelke talked to me about this, was the fact that the leading edge is a little more rounded on that, mm -hmm. that wedge in particular, so that as you open the face, you also don't get the kind of sensation that you're aimed just straight right. Exactly, no, and that's exactly what we did, you know, when designing this, you know, there's a lot of uh, trailing edge relief, a lot of heel and toe kind of grind off there, um, and, you know, also that what we kind of call the smile uh, on that leading edge that is a little more rounded so that it doesn't point straight right when you open the face, and when you do flip it wide open, it sits really low, like you said. Yeah, the other thing I want to talk about coming from RTX 3 and getting to hit these for the first time is what you guys have done from a shaping standpoint. Mm -hmm really impressive they look outstanding the the less offset super noticeable right away at address and the compact shape you know with the type of irons i'm going to play really blends in seamlessly with my bag i really love them from a shaping standpoint yeah and you know we did a lot of work with our tour players um took taking a look at you know what they're playing and what especially looking at the short irons and when you go to you know the 52 degree or the 46 degree uh, you know, some of the, the pitching wedge and gap wedges, you can really see that they are noticeably smaller um, and they'll blend a lot better with some of those players iron uh, uh, that are out there. And then the other thing is that you'll notice that they have a little straighter leading edge too. So, um, you know, they, unlike the 60 degrees that have a rounder uh, leading edge to open the face, they sit a little more square. So they look a little more like a traditional iron. Um, and then, like you said, the offset, that's one of the, the pieces of feedback we took from our tour team where you know RTX 3 may have had a little bit much for those guys. Um, RTX 4 has gotten nothing but you know great reviews um, and a lot of people really love that we took away some of that offset. Yeah they, they look tremendous they feel great as well and I think you touched on something with the the 46 the 48 degree if somebody I could definitely see players wanting to use that mm -hmm. as a pitching wedge because you get the, the added sort of face spin technology 
which would really benefit you on those full shots, like especially out of the rough. Yeah, so you're gonna get, you know, obviously you're gonna get the Rotex face, you're gonna get more spin. Um, also with that compact head shape, it's also gonna come out a little bit lower. So if you're a guy that's trying to, you know, wants a pitching wedge, it's gonna launch a little bit lower with a little more spin, uh, especially if, if, you know, you're trying to hit a little control shot. Um, that's a really good point that you brought up there. Yeah, and three uh, finishes, satin, uh, a black sort of satin finish um, and a raw finish. Uh, I played the raw in the RTX 3. Mm -hmm. I got to say, I think the black may be my favorite in the RTX 4. It really looks sharp. Yeah, so all of these finishes, so we have a tour satin, a tour raw, and a black satin. Um, they all have a little more sheen to them than RTX 3, which is maybe a little more matte. Um, and they should actually hold up a little bit better uh, because of that. Um, and the black satin is definitely, it's our high durable finish. Um, we we kind of went to that with RTX 3, um, and then we basically kind of made a few modifications to the sheenness of it, but for the most part, it's, you know, the same durability. Um, you know, you see people around the office that have them in the bags, and, you know, they've held up really well over the course of a few months. Um, and, yeah, the Tour Raws especially, you know, they're build, made to rust. Uh, a lot of better players like that, that look uh, in the bag, so... Yeah, and we talked about this for me earlier as sort of a shallow player, sort of the lower bounce models mm -hmm. are going to work well. But with four sole grinds, you know, for that player who, you know, is a little bit steeper, takes a bigger divot, or, you know, plays at maybe a golf course with soft conditions, there's going to be a great option for them. We have two mid-bounce options, as we kind of talked about before. So when you're looking at the full and the mid, you know, they both set up, you know, and have about mid, they have mid bounce at address uh, on square face shots. Uh, but really where they differ is when you open the face. So someone that does have a little bit of a steeper swing, but still wants to have some versatility around the greens, you know, they're going to want to play the mid, the mid sole because it does keep that leading edge a little closer to the ground. Uh, but for someone who's playing in soft conditions or, you know, really likes to feel the bounce going through the turf, a lot of guys that have a steeper swing like to feel that bounce, the full is going to be a good option because it does increase bounce as you open the face. So out of thick rough or, or soft bunkers, that's a really good option. Yeah, now this is a wedge that was, you know, really inspired by your touring professionals, immediately went into the bags of a lot of tour players. And so it only makes sense that sort of you put the most popular wedge shaft on tour in it, which is the Dynamic Old Tour issue S400. And from a feel standpoint, it really complemented what's wow. going on with so, the club head uh, well. You know, you could really feel really the weight of the, the club and bad. you really felt like you had control when you swung these. Yeah, we're really excited about this, the stock shaft. It is the Dynamic Old Tour issue S400. Uh, it's the most popular wedge shaft on the PGA Tour. Um, and one thing that you mentioned is, you know, how it feel, you can feel it with the club and that's, you'll see a lot of guys will have a little heavier wedge shaft so they can feel it. It gives a little bit more control to you. Um, the profile and the flex profile is actually not going to be that much different than our standard DG wedge flex that we've had uh, for the past couple of generations. Um, but these do have a little tighter, tighter tolerances. Um, and so they just have, you know, they're dialed in a little bit more for that, that better player, that tour player. Yeah, really, uh, really nice job on these. I think you've definitely made some upgrades from RTX 3, and it's no surprise to me that they've been really popular right out of the gate. Yeah, no, glad to hear you liked them, and uh, we're real excited for the rest of the world to get to try them. Yeah, thanks for having us out today. We appreciate yeah. it.